Games getting bigger and bigger with each passing update, adding some extra storage to your next-gen console might be necessary in the near future. While the Seagate expansion card is hands down the best performing option for Xbox, one of the latest from Western Digital, the WD Black D30 SSD game drive, is a nice bridge that can also be more versatile than what the Seagate drive has to offer. So here we're going to dive in and take a closer look at the WD Black D30 SSD drive. Thanks for watching 9to5toys! Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we do have the WD Black D30 SSD drive. WD Black is the gaming-focused arm of Western Digital. There are drives for consoles, desktops, and laptops. WD Black has dedicated NVMe SSD drives, or you can get external storage that can easily be transferred between different devices. The D30 is really easy to format and set up for a PlayStation, for an Xbox, or for PC. And of course, you can use these on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, as well as the next-gen consoles, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. One thing to note here, at least with the Xbox side of things, you won't be able to play Xbox Series S and X enhanced games. Uh, usually the game will have a little icon on the title that tells you it's enhanced for Xbox Series X and S. If you have it installed on this drive, when you have it plugged into your Xbox, you won't be able to play the game. You'll have to transfer it to your internal storage. And we'll talk a little bit more about that here coming up. And that versatility, being able to use this with PlayStation and PC, makes it a little more multi-purpose than what that CD8 expansion card is. The CD8 fits into one specific slot in the back of the Xbox Series X and S, and so you can't use it on your PC or PlayStation, whereas an external drive like this is a little more versatile. So, you know, if you get rid of your Xbox but still have the drive, you can use it on a PlayStation or a PC. And just like the P10 game drive that we took a look at back in 2019, the D30 also has an extra Xbox branded version of it. So it has a little white border around here and an Xbox logo on it as well. There are no performance changes, uh, but if you are on an Xbox uh, and then you like that look, then that might be something that you want to check out. Moving on to the design, while it doesn't matter for performance, WD Black's lineup is pretty great looking for accessories. With military-styled text branding and a rugged-looking matte black body, the D30 is a drive that you won't feel like you have to hide away tucked behind your Xbox. It does still have the longest USB-C cord attached to the console, so it's not nearly as seamless as the Seagate expansion card. And moving on to performance, Western Digital claims that the D30 can get up to 900 megabytes per second read speed. To reach those speeds, though, you will need to connect via USB 3.2 Gen 2. And while my PC doesn't have any Gen 2 ports, I was able to reach speeds up to 446 megabytes per second read and 404 megabytes per second write when using Crystal Disk Mark through a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. And that is a pretty huge upgrade over you know the standard uh, HDD drive with the spinning disk in there like the P10, which usually peak at just a little bit over 100 megabytes per second. So even getting 400 you know is a great speed boost on here. Doing some real world transfer tests on the Xbox Series X, I was able to transfer a 3.27 gigabyte game to the D30 in just over 10 seconds. Surprisingly, transferring a 38.6 gigabyte game from internal storage to the D30 took 7 minutes 41 seconds, while transferring it back to the internal storage took only 2 minutes and 28 seconds. And with the Xbox Series X only using USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, you know, it's unlikely that you'll see the max speed of what this drive can offer on your Xbox Series X console. And like we briefly mentioned, you also won't be able to play any Xbox S or X enhanced titles directly from the game drive. You know, if you have have stored those on here, you will need to transfer them back to your console to be able to play those. And that's something that is different with the CD expansion card uh, because it has pretty much the exact same speed as the internal storage. You can actually play Xbox Series X and S enhanced games off of the CDA expansion card. But that is a very, you know, specific expansion option just for the Xbox Series X and S. So, you know, if that's something you wanna look for, you just want the fastest speeds, then definitely check that out. But something like this can offer a little more versatility. But if you do want even more performance than what this drive can offer, then check out the P50 game drive from WD Black. With stated speeds up to 200 megabytes per second and up to four terabytes of storage, it's packing twice the speed of the D30 for those who need more. And for pricing, the 500 gigabyte version of the WD Black D30 comes in at $90, with the one terabyte coming in at $150. And then there is also a two terabyte version, which will set you back $270. So within that range there, you know, you can find where you fit. And just for comparison, that Seagate expansion card is one terabyte. So the same 
uh, sizes this drive, which cost $170. The Seagate drive, one terabyte, will come in at $220. Uh, but it does get, you know, insanely fast speeds, uh, much higher performance for the Xbox Series X and S, uh, but you can't use it on PlayStation or on PC. So overall, wrapping up here, the D30 seems like a great hard drive to add some more storage with some decent speeds to back it up. I wasn't able to reach the advertised speeds due to my lack of USB 3.2 Gen 2, but if you're used to using a standard spinning HDD, you'll definitely see some speed increases with a WD Black D30 game drive. And again, what I like about these drives is that they can also be repurposed for something else. If you're done with your Xbox, you're done with your PlayStation, or you know, you have it on your PC, but you need extra storage for your Xbox or PlayStation, you can easily jump around and you know reformat this and have some great other uses for it rather than just game storage, you know, on your console. But that being said, if you are on Xbox Series X or S and don't have any plans, any other need to get any sort of external storage for a PlayStation or PC, then the Seagate expansion card is hands down the highest performance piece that you can get for your Xbox Series X or S. With speeds matching those of the internal storage, it's a seamless way to double or triple your storage without any compromises. All right, and that'll do it for a quick look at the WD Black D30 SSD game drive. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.